Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy87 and this is Let's Play Bangin' Rampa V3 Part 33. Oh, 3's all around. In the previous video, we got sent to the digital world. Um, we're supposed to be looking for the secret of the outside world, which uh, probably doesn't exist and it's just an excuse to get us all murdered, but the gang isn't quite, um, what's the word, uh, smart enough to figure that out for some reason. What's it going, Maki? She's actually mad. I don't remember why she's mad. It has been a day since I recorded the last video. Mm, so we're searching here. It's gonna take a lot of effort since I can't use my magic. Uh, uh, sir? Hey, so... Shuichi, what'd you do to mock your If you know, you better apologize, okay? Uh, um... Yeah. Why are you mad again? He's actually mad. It's your fault, Kaito. I don't even know, but it's definitely your fault. Uh... Then we'll search the mansion. It's fine. To... Oh, yeah, she got left alone, right? No one wanted to group with her. Or it's not that no one, but she, she got, didn't get assigned a group. I suppose it makes sense for a travel to have an organ. God, I probably could have played the organ well too. Hey, Shuichio, why are you crying? Oh, no reason. Um. So go to search mansion over there, right? Okay, let's go, Shuichi. <laughs> well, in this world is the best. How's expanding this place and making our new reality sound to you guys? Your bodies may be confined, but here your mind is free. That's. Isn't that more like escaping reality? Yeah. That is illogical. It's hardly the time to retreat from reality. Uh, Living in a game world seems like an interesting idea, but I would want to be here forever. What if this is the real world and the other world is the fake world? Hmm? It'd be better if the virtual world is a tropical island. Wrong game, Himiko. You know. I mean, my face isn't this ugly. What, what the what? fuck, guys? Seriously? You're gonna regret this. I mean. What are you stupid? I'm already regretting this. Oh, I shouldn't have come here. Now, now, everyone, I know it's not great here, but let's start searching. Damn now, it. I'm, I'll make you regret this. Regret this? What does she mean? She says such ominous things. Leave it to me. Leave the side to us. We will leave the other side to you. And we should probably keep an eye on Kokichi just in case. Okay. Good idea. I'll be careful. Sure is messy in here. There's a mountain of books and posters and what looks like Christmas decorations. Uh, was this meant to hide the secret of the outside world? That's something Monokuma would do. I'm already tired. Luigi, if you want help, don't hold back, okay? If you want to help. No. I'll just take a look around. I'll go investigate the mansion. No, never. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to hold B. Leave it to me. Luigi, we'll take care of searching this chapel. I will show you that I'm leagues apart from those household cleaning robots. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, whatever you say, Roomba. We're going to the mansion with Gonta and... It's Koki Kokichi, don't do it. Okay, we, we passed. We passed. All right. Did everyone cross the bridge? Okay, then let's head to the mansion together. Huh? Whoops, my hand slipped. Oh, is this our revenge? Uh. What are you doing? Uh. I just came here to see you guys off and my hand accidentally slipped. Don't screw around. That was obviously on purpose. It wasn't on purpose at all. It was an accident. Shut up! You keep talking shit like that and you only attract ugly bitches. You want to spend the rest of your life surrounded by ugly bitches, dumbass? <sighs> That's not even an insult. I'm famous for attracting ugly people. Uh, um... What are they fighting about? <sighs> See, there's one of them right now. I've met a lot of people up to now, but I've never met someone so messed up. Shit! Seriously, that girl's in so much trouble. Sorry. Uh, there was one more person here. But... What are the people in the chapel going to do? They now they have no way to get across. Huh? You're right, you can only log out from the salon in the mansion. Um, well, maybe you can fix it later. Let's just get to the mansion already. I mean, there should be right. stuff in there, right? Uh, we'll deal with them later. First, we gotta find the secret of the outside world! Bro, I'm logging out. Okay, why does he keep doing that? All I can do is, I'm trying to run with B, but I'm not realizing that we're done with the cutscene yet. Okay, the secret of the outside world. Imagine what it could be. Luigi, log out. Hmm. Gonta and Kaito are going to check the mansion surroundings and rooftops. I'll go to the salon. So can the plain pair, Sumugi and Shuichi, go plainly search the dining hall and kitchen? Sorry. Sorry, Suichi. It's my fault you got plain paired with me. Yeah, yeah, it kind of sucks. Right, right? If everyone knows the plain pair is just plain dangerous. Shut up. Uh, okay. I, I don't know about that. Um... Gonta, go now. Gonta, uh... please. I'd rather be with anyone. 
else but her. And it's surprisingly cold out there. Well, that's not really true. Um, well, I would maybe, um, is there any character I prefer over Sumugi at this point? Um, honestly, I think Miyu has gotten to be more annoying than Sumugi at this point. Alright, Sumugi is not really annoying, she's just boring. It's okay. Thank you, but Gonta okay. Gonta not smart enough to get Come sick. On, man. Someone who isn't smart wouldn't save everyone. They'd only think of themselves. Mm. Oh, thank you. Hey! What's up the fun chit chat and go back outside and look for the secret of the outside world? We don't even know what's waiting for us, so we gotta be very careful, okay? Uh, okay. Alright, we'll start searching too. Right. Yeah, I wanna hurry and find the secret of the outside world so we can go back. I wanna go back to my real body. Ah. These avatars aren't that bad, you know? Huh? These avatars. <laughs> just kidding. It's a joke. I'm just joking. I'm gonna go check out the rooftop. You guys better not slack off. Gonta. Gonta, go now too. Wrong way. Uh, should we? Should we should go okay. too. Yeah, let's go. Over my dead body. Gogiji. Gogiji, let's be friends. I don't wanna. What a strange clock. Um. I'll go check the dining hall room. Can you go please check the kitchen, Suichi? Leave it to me. Ah, the kitchen is over there. Is it? Oh, there it is. What are you talking about? There's nothing there, dude. Oh, wait. I, I, I keep trying. Because I'm holding down B after running, and it causes the text to auto skip. Is in the culture? I'll check the dining room, but no, it's nothing. I'll check the kitchen now. This is well made, and the candles are certainly impressive. But this isn't the secret of the what outside world. This? Are you the type of person who admires good craftsmanship? No. Uh, not really. I'll investigate the kitchen now. Dishes of various sizes. Why did Monica repair all these? In any case, this isn't the secret of the outside What's world. Bro, I'm not. No. I'll go when I damn well please. I know we're supposed to be searching for the secret of the outside world, but what is it? An object? Something else entirely? Yeah. I suppose I should search everywhere for anything suspicious. I searched every nook and cranny in the kitchen, but... Hmm. Been acting awful sus lately, Mr. Teapot. Uh, I looked everywhere, but I didn't find anything suspicious. Perhaps I missed something. I'll look one more time. But it was a waste of time. I found nothing. It's been a while, but I can't find anything. I haven't found anything even after all this. It can't be in the tick kitchen. What should I do now? Search somewhere else? Then she stabs Shuichi. him. How'd your search go, Shuichi? No. Uh, I didn't find anything. How about you? <sighs> Same. I checked every corner, but I didn't find a thing. I'm starting to wonder if there was even something actually hidden here. Was Monokuma just lying? The way Monokuma was talking certainly was suspicious. Well, Monokuma, did you pair some sort of bait for us? Oh, bait? Yeah, of course. Is your curiosity peaked? Then you have no choice but to go. Yeah, we want to know, so we'll definitely go. You almost got Kichu was steering that conversation, but why would he do that? Huh? By the way, there's something that's been bothering me. That's... Uh, something bothering me? Yeah, Shuichi, all the blood is inside your body instead of outside of it, stab. Um... Yeah, it might have just been my imagination, but there's a small window in the dining room maybe 10 minutes ago. I looked through it, and I thought I saw Miyu. Huh? You saw Miyu, but she should be in the chapel. Yeah. And the bridge fell, so you shouldn't be able to get over here, right? That's why I thought it was just my imagination, but I figured I should say something. Well, if anyone would know a way to get past the loading screen or whatever, or, you know, past the river, it would be her. Huh? Uh, no one would ever be murdered. Ha ha ha. What? What was that sound? No. It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but... Samugi, let's go look. What was that? Nope. This box will never hurt me. If I just get in the box, they will never find me, and I will never know any pain ever again. Oh, we can move. I couldn't tell. I can never tell if it's a cutscene or if, uh, you know, I, I can still run. I guess you have the border. Maybe that's how you tell. 
Don't they in the entrance hall? Something outside, perhaps? Could it be? Maybe that sound was something falling off the roof? The person on the roof is. What should we do? Let's go outside and check. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's not Kibo. Uh -huh. Oh man. He's one of the ones who's expendable. What? What? That was Kibo's voice, right? I heard him outside. He sounded close. Why? But Kibo should be in the chapel. Why? Um... Let's go outside. It'll be faster. We see for ourselves. Okay. Right. Now, the border's still here even when we're not in a cutscene, so it make, makes no sense. Um... Hey, Gonta, you're oh. alive. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kaito! Oh, Shuichi and Samugi! Gonta! Gonta! Did you see Kibo around here anywhere? No. No, Gonta, not see him. Um... You didn't, but I heard his voice close by. And did something fall off the roof? You heard that loud noise, right? Um... Oh, Gonta hear noise, but Gonta not see anything. Huh? Huh? What could that mean? I thought I heard the sound in Kibo's voice close by. But Gonta didn't say anything? What about Kaito? You should have heard that from the roof. He would run over here right away. What's going on? I mean, maybe we're hearing noises from over in the chapel somehow? Hey! Doichi, what does this all mean? Maybe there's a sound warp hole, wormhole? What strange occurrences. All right, my talent is solving mysteries. That's what I'm going to do. All right. I need to figure out why Kibo screamed. It's out of the chapel, all right? Some, something might have happened there. Um, yeah, you're right. Oh, no, Samuki, you're not going to be my, like, investigation partner for this chapter, are you? Can I have, like, Gonta or anyone else? Shuichi. Perfect timing. Is there anything over there that can serve as a bridge? Uh, your body? What? Kibo's over there. Then what was that shouting I heard earlier? Well... We should hurry and find something else to replace the bridge with. Right. Yeah, we're able to make it in time. Huh? Make it in time? What do you mean? Hey! Okay, maybe that... Okay, so that's actually just, like, part of his outfit. Okay, when you see it from the side, you can tell that it's not connected. What happened? What are you guys making such a scene? Kokichi! Kokichi! Tackle attack! Um... I didn't see anyone in the dining room, so I went to look for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like everyone's in trouble now that Niu dropped the bridge. Kokichi. This is no time for laughter. We need you to find a replacement bridge, uh, Kibo, your body. Ah. But the bridge is over here, you know. Huh? What? <laughs> Come on, over here. All right. Uh, anyway, let, let's go. Mm. Kokichi told us, so now I'm worried. But let's just wait and see what happens. See the soundboard stuck on that boulder? It's the same one me you dropped, right? Oh, yeah. Alright, I got swept all the way over here. Allow Gonta. Leave it's a Gonta. Gonta, you just need carry signboard. Alright! Now that's Zelda, let's head back to where everyone else is. And then they're all dead. Like, could they have like made the jump from the other mm. side of the river down there, maybe? Are they back yet? Hey. Oh, they're here. Um Gonta just need to put board over river. But board's so thin. Will this be okay? If what if board breaks this time? Get it? It may be thin, but it's made of sturdy wood. So can you hurry and put the bridge down? Got it. Okay, got it. Gon't tit. What happened? What's wrong? What's happening over there? Well... I'll explain later. We need to log out right now. Huh? Log out. Well? Where's Miu? <laughs> Something happened to her. Huh? What do you mean? Well, we're not sure, but her avatar isn't moving. Maybe something happened in the real world that's preventing her from moving it? Hmm. This looks real bad, guys. Okay, let's head to the salon and log out ASAP. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey. Where's Kaito? Well, that's... Ah, Kaito. I don't know. I ran here as fast as I could. I didn't check the roof. What? You didn't even bother going to the roof to get him. You're colder than I thought. Huh? Huh? Shuichi. Let's hurry. Kaito, don't die yet. Oh my god, I'm still trying to run. I think he just said dot dot dot, right? Yeah. Kaito, you're legally not allowed to die until like in the next chapter. Um Maggie, did you check the rooftop? <sighs> he wasn't there. Huh? He wasn't there. I told you. No one was on the roof. I tried calling for him, but there was no answer. Then And where did he go? What's the point? He probably logged out first by himself. Um, yeah. Don't worry, he's stupid enough to get to really He's stupid enough to get himself killed, but I know he won't really die. Um. I suppose that's true. We don't have to worry about him. I have to hurry and log out. I have to check on me. Shuichi. Okay, they're logging out. 
Hold on, should we just only log out one person at a time? Dibs on not being one of the last two people? I don't want to get stabbed right before we log out. Um. Gonta, have next turn. Oh no. Mm. Gonta just, Gonta, no, stay. Uh, let us go first, Gonta. You can protect yourself, we can't. So Gonta just say name and phone and someone come get him? Hmm. Who cares, just do it already. Gonta. Um, Gonta, Goku Haru. Ah. He disappeared, so that's what logging out looks like. Oh, so the avatar disappeared when we log out. The Mew's avatar is still here, here and unmoving, right? What does that mean? Um. Oh no, Kokiji, please. You gave me your underwear. You can't stab me. Sumugi Shiragane. Right? Oh, she, she can log out before me. I'm sure your detective's intuition is kicking in, right? So go on ahead. I don't know what's worse. Um, logging out while he could stab me or leaving him here to stab someone who's still here? Because we don't know that Kaito is actually logged out. See? Don't be shy. Go on ahead. Oh, you're actually going first? <laughs> I was kidding. But no, seriously, go on ahead. Just remember, Kokichi, I, ha I own your underwear, okay? Shuichi. Oh, wait, now that we're alone, I want to tell you something. Huh? What is it? But first, uh, Shuichi Sahara? Su Shuichi Sahara. <laughs> you're really useful. Huh? Huh? Hey! How about you stop hanging out with the dumb old Kaito and be my friend instead? I think I can be useful to you too, you know? I can help you save everyone. And you want to save everyone, right? I'm... Suiji Saihara. Because that's the smartest thing Suiji's ever done in his entire <laughs> life. Oh, I got rejected. But I won't give up that easily. When I find someone I like, I'll do anything to get them to notice me. Even strangle them. I mean, some people are into that, as long as you don't murder them. When I opened my eyes, I could only see black. I was logged out. The helmet on my head was blocking my vision. I realized that I quickly reached up to grab the helmet and pulled it off. And then it did that weird, uh, grainy thing where it shows you a body. But when I did, a nauseating sight was waiting for me. Not Kaito. Not Kaito. Not Kaito. I mean... Okay, me, you, let's go. <laughs> I mean, she's thinking not actually dead. Mew's called dead body. Uh, I mean, there's still room for doubt. <laughs> Kaito. Ka Kaito. Live and let the languid world live. Daybreak. Sun had risen while we were all inside the virtual world. I mean, it's not that I wanted Miyu to die per se. It's just that I didn't, I would, you know, prefer her dying over her. I mean, really, her or Samugi. Kind of take her or leave him. Either one could have could have died at this point and I'd be okay with it. And I mean, I was on the Miyu train at first. I just feel like ding, dong, dong, ding. her gimmick has kind of run its course by this point in the game. A body's been discovered. Everyone, please report to the computer room. Yeah. Wait, you're already here. Wait, no, was Kaito then. there? I didn't see him. I don't remember if I saw him. Wow, to get to bring you the body discovery announcement live. Yeah. Oh, doing it live is great. Better than beer and fucking. I have to be the horny one now. Sugar, yeah, there's still no Kaito. Now, he did say everyone was here and yeah. didn't mention Kaito. Um, is, Does that mean my boy is dead? Therefore, he doesn't need to know. Daddy, have you always had such a potty mouth? Hey, um, I was holding back because we already had one vulgar cast member, but now it's my time to shine. That's nice. Thankfully, I'm adorable, so I can get away with all kinds of saying, saying all kinds of crude stuff. I finally get to be a foul-mouthed asshole. Yeah! What a vulgar last word. Hey. What's wrong, Monotari? You're just staring blankly at the body. Huh? Staring at the bo Oh, no, it's his mother. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. We barely heard the announcement, and we stared at Miyu dumbfounded. We just stared at Miyu's corpse. That's terrible. Why did it end up like this? Why? M Miyu, what? Why? <laughs> well, what's going on? Why was Miyu killed? <laughs> Don't understand either. Miyu, like this one, going to wake up. Why? What's going on? Why this happened? Yeah. Obvious, a murder happened. Huh? M murder? Weird. What you mean? Did something happen while going to sleep? No. 
We weren't asleep, and that wasn't a dream. We were in the virtual world. Hey. Where's Kaito? Oh. That's right, Kaito! Almost as if on cue. Heard footsteps running fast. Down the hallway, the sound growing louder until the door burst open. Burst open. Hey! Hey, what's this all about? What's that body discovery announcement? What? Uh, Miu, what the hell's going on here? Ah. You're too late, okay? All the others finished gasping in terror already. By the way. Anyway, where are you this whole time, Kaito? What were you doing? Um, I was being suspicious, but I'm like so suspicious that it can't possibly be me, so don't even bother uh, suspecting me. So. I was just taking a nap. Huh? Taking a nap? Um. You were sleeping. Galt was sleeping too. Had a strange dream. Galt and I understand anything. Um. As I said, that was the virtual world. So you logged out by yourself and then took a nap without a permission? You know, I suddenly got logged out before I realized I was back here. Uh, um, you were logged out involuntarily? I mean, I think that's definitely something that's possible, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if it was okay to log back in, so I went back to my room and slept. Now, I don't know about that. That seems a little fucking like a lie, but... I kind of buy the idea that you could have been logged out remotely. Maybe that's like what the key card would let you do or something. Damn it. Or some sort of, you know, maybe Miu told Kokichi something that would let him do that or something like that. So we don't know all the rules of the virtual world. When the body discovery announcement woke me up, I rushed over here. <laughs> Kaito, if you're going to lie, you might as well do it better. You think you can make the killing game more exciting with a crappy lie like that? Hold on. It's not a lie. I really was sleeping. Hey. Hold on a minute. We can discuss whether or not that's a lie later. What we need to do right now is begin the investigation. We need to discover who killed Miu. <laughs> You seem ready. Well, of course you are. Right? One of your dear friends was killed, so it's finally time for you to shine. Hmm. Explain it however you'd like, Kokichi. The fact is, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be executed. No. I won't let that happen. I'll find the culprit so we can all survive. Um... Even if the culprit is Kaito? Especially if the culprit's Kaito. Don't screw around. I mean, people lose any and all goodwill as soon as they become murderers. So, um, Kaito, you know, you're probably the favorite character, but if... Perchance that you did cold blooded murder someone, bottom of the power rankings you go. Well, maybe not the bottom, but because even bad characters can be high on the power rankings if the character is interesting, but. Okay! Like, you know, I really like Nagito and Danganronpa 2, despite him being, you know, a bad person. Um, now, now, granted, he did kind of do something good at the end, kind of, maybe. Um, now, please save your arguments for the class trial in the meantime. The Monokuma file! With this, you can even investigate a Miu's asshole! Even there? Now then. Well then, do your best! I'm certain you guys will make this turn of events a very interesting asshole! Daddy! Daddy seems to be really enjoying that dirty word. Mommy! Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's do this. I'll find the culprit this time no matter what! Hey! Why are you being so cheery what? about? What are you sad about? You guys hated her. Not as much as you hate me, but still. Stop it. That's not the issue. Of course, I thought she was loud and annoying, but... I mean... I never wanted her to die. I wanted all of us to escape together. But if somebody had to die, then, well... Yes. Mia was certainly brash and spirited, but she wasn't a bad person. Listen closely. Believe me, I had to perform maintenance on my body, so I know uh, very, very well. <laughs> and I wouldn't have this uh, Robo Penetrator 5000 if it wasn't for her. I want to cry, but I can't. I should have had Mia install a crying function. Mm, wouldn't your tears cause you to short circuit? No. Not at all. My body is completely waterproof. Oh, this isn't the time for that. <sighs> Gonta no can forgive this. Gonta never forgive this. Gonta crush skull of culprit like tiny grape. Gonta never forgive culprit. E never forgive culprit either. Gonta idiot. Gonta never forgive self. Gonta swear to protect everyone, but Gonta failed to protect me. You. Gonta no can protect anyone again. Gonta is failure as gentleman. So tired of this awful feeling. I have to do something. I can't let this. Shuichi. Don't carry the burden all by yourself. Huh? Listen up. You're my sidekick. Don't forget. Yeah. We're gonna do it together. If we work together, we can solve this. Ah. No way, Jose. What? I mean, it makes sense you would want to split us up if you know you're gonna make the if you're framing Kaito for it. Well, you know. We just must rob a person in a class trial, you know. How do we let such an important person work together with a suspect like you? Huh? S suspect. You're saying if I was the culprit, Shuichi would hide the truth to protect me? Don't screw around! Bullshit! Don't underestimate Shuichi! You see the way he fucking murdered Kaede? <laughs> Even if I was the culprit, he's the type of guy who'd see through these things. Hmm. You remember Kaede's class trial? Shut up! He saw through that, didn't he? I believe in Shuichi! Uh, okay. Kaito. <laughs> you love to believe, don't you, Kaito? 
You really don't get it. But that belief can turn against you, especially in this killing game, you know? Ugh. I've got no idea what you're talking about. I don't get it at all. Fine, if you're gonna get all worked up over it, then me and Shuichi won't team up. I mean... Kokichi as a partner would be kind of fun, I suppose. I mean, I kind of like Kokichi's character still. But... I think he's interesting. He adds something He adds something to the game. Don't worry about it. It's just for now. <laughs> but hearing him say all that, I can't say quiet. I believe in you. That's it. Try to get through this with your own. Clear me of suspicion with your own power. <laughs> if you can be cleared. I don't like this at all. It feels like another one of Kokichi's tricks. Of course, this is Kaito we're talking about. Nothing I could say could change his mind. God, this is only one thing I can do. I can't be afraid. I can't get lost now. In order to protect everyone, I have to do something. I have to do something. First, I should check the Monokuma file. The victim is the ultimate inventor, Mio Aruma. Body was discovered in the computer room on the fourth floor. Approximate time of death is 6.30 a.m. There are no external wounds on the body. Wait, 6.30 a.m. Is that it? Have we, have we been in there for like a long time, maybe? No external wounds. Killed around 6.30 in the morning. Time of death happened 30 minutes before now while we were still in the virtual world. Um... Wait, why would we have been in the ver- Oh, yeah, because didn't she- She came at night, right? Okay, I'd forgotten about that. But yeah, we didn't come here in the morning. We came in the middle of the night. Let me- Let me look at it one more time. Oh, it's not added yet? Rikichi, what do you want? You don't have to be so weary of me. It's not going to get in your way, Shuichi. Um, it's just I hate lies so much. I tend to suspect others a lot. Kato said he wouldn't team up with you for this case, so I can't trust those words. So that means... That's why I'm keeping an eye out, just in case he tries to bother you. Uh, Keeping an eye out. It's true. Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm not trying to replace Kaito as your partner, okay? All right. I'll help you out as much as I can. So where are you going to investigate now? I mean, of the characters, I mean, really, Maki would be the one that I'd most want to partner with. But since we've already done her, uh, Kogichi would probably be my, my choice after Maki and Kaito. So why is he following me? Okay. So... No injuries can be found on the victim's body. So, I mean, it looks like she's, you know, suffocating. But if there's no injuries, then maybe... I mean, it could have just been that she was killed in the virtual world. And then, it, you know, it, it, it just caused her to real body to go into shock and she died. Which would probably be the most... Uh, that seems to be what it's leading towards. Because if she was actually, you know, choking or asphyxiated, there would probably be some mention of that as cause of death Mommy My thoughts exactly Hey Monotar, what's going on with you? This place is upsetting my stomach. No, you're endangering our current existence as mascot characters. That's right. Luigi, I gotta explain, just so you don't misunderstand. Uh, um, explain what? Uh, you talk about how you logged out of yourself, uh, right? Okay, let's hear it then. What? Why are you... Yeah. Feel free to lie, of course. Exposing lies is the real pleasure of this game, after all. Don't screw around. What? Hey. Okay, just ignore him and talk to me, okay? I mean... What about the whole logging out thing? I really don't get it myself. When I was looking for the secret of the outside world on the rooftop, a circle lit up under me. I was suddenly sucked in before I knew it, I was logged out. Okay, I mean, he did describe the logout process properly. Same thing happened when I used the phone to log out. How did that happen on the roof? Uh, um, and what happened after you logged out? So... Everyone else was still logged in, but I didn't know if it was okay for me to log back in. I just went back to my room and slept since it was dawn. I was pretty tired. Yeah, they did interrupt us in the middle of the night, so... Um... And the body discovery announcement woke you up? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I heard it and rushed back here. Hey! You remember what condition Mew's body was when you logged out? My bad. No, I didn't pay attention to that, so I don't know. You didn't notice anything wrong, like whether she was dead or not? Shut up! Like I said, I don't know. Ah. Sorry, sorry. So I just need to object to this contradiction in the class testimony, isn't that right? Don't screw around. I I'm not lying. Tell him, Shuichi. Shuichi. In order to find the truth, you can't be biased. So, I mean, I guess I could see this whole thing as like a situation where uh, Kokichi is like testing Shuichi to see if he can, uh, you know, prove Kaito's innocence despite him being framed for the murder. 
Because I assume we're going to find more evidence that links Kaito to uh, the murder, and it's going to be more of a test of uh, how can you prove that he didn't uh, commit the murder, even if there is evidence linking him to it. Maybe that, I think that's kind of my general idea of where this chapter might go, which I think is cool. Potentially, depending on the execution. I never thought Mew would be killed. When I saw our avatar, they're not moving. I thought maybe, but... You're right. Bro, you saw the Mew's avatar in the virtual world. It stopped moving. Mm. Me, Kiba, and Maki all found our avatar. Hey. Can you tell me more about that? Any details? I... We were looking for the secret of the outside world at the chapel. Hey. Mew was too, right? No. Mew volunteered to look around the outside of the chapel, so she wasn't with us. Mew volunteered to look around outside. Mm. We searched, but we couldn't find anything. Then right when we were starting to get tired, mm. all of a sudden we heard a really loud sound outside. I don't see the sound I heard as well. Mm. Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard, and we felt it all the way from inside. Something hitting the chapel wall. Mm. Now rushed outside to check the side of the chapel, and we found Mew's avatar. Uh, um. That's when you went to log out to check Mew's real body, correct? But when we went to the river, the bridge was gone for some reason. Jeez. While we were standing around wondering what to do, you guys showed up. Thank you. I see. Thank you. Oh. That testimony sounded important, especially about how they couldn't cross the river. Because? Because if they weren't able to cross, then no one could have gone between the mansion and the chapel. Maybe. <laughs> then this helps us narrow down the people who could have come into contact with me and you. Who could have come in contact with me at the chapel? Vince at the chapel. Now, obviously, there's something hidden to us about the way the virtual world w works there, with the way we heard Kibo's voice and everything, and the noise. I mean, it could be that because of, like, maybe the way Miu modified the virtual world, it resulted in some weird inconsistencies, like, um, being able to hear things on one side or something. I don't know. Yeah, because I, I was going to say maybe it was just that one room, but even Gonta heard uh, the loud noise at the chapel. Which you shouldn't have been able to hear, right? Because didn't they, uh... I can't really remember. How, how did they explain the the sound wall, right? The, the loading screen? Like, sound and stuff shouldn't travel through that, you would think? Between the sides? So... There must have been something about that that was either a lie or... Either outright or... Not completely understood. Like I thought. Like, I don't know, Miu may have been lying to us on purpose about that, or it may have been that she just didn't completely understand how the world worked. It ended up like this after all. I had a bad feeling ever since I thought I saw Miu from the dining room window. Oh yeah, she did mention that she actually saw Miu. That's interesting. Hmm. So there probably was some, you know, wormhole type way to get between them or something. You thought you saw Miu? Oh. Yeah, I told Shuichi about it. There's a small window in the dining room. Maybe 10 minutes ago, I looked through it, and I thought I saw Miu. Oh. Hmm, you saw Miu then. I thought I was been mistaken since you should have been at the chapel. <laughs> You're only saying you were mistaken so you don't have to feel as guilty. What? Huh? Because? If you have been positive it was Miu, then you could have done something sooner. You could have prevented her death, you know? <laughs> Th that... Hey. That's just speculation, Kokichi. You can't judge in hindsight. My bad. But I just did. Oh, went a little off topic there. Anyway, I want to ask you something. What did you do after you thought you saw Miu? Um... I thought I was mistaken, but it really bothered me. So about 10 minutes later, I told Shuichi while we were talking about it. Bang. It does sound like wood shattering. Uh, what was that sound? That was something that was struck very hard. It came from outside, but... Um. We heard a loud noise and rushed out into the entrance hall. For now, let's go outside and check. Oh no! And they heard it from that direction. That was Kibo's voice, right? I heard him outside. He sounded close. Huh? Keyboy's voice, huh? Wasn't he at the chapel? Uh, okay. He was, but Sumigi and I are positive it was his voice. I heard Kiba from the entrance hall when he should have been in the chapel. That's weird, because you shouldn't be able to hear anything between the chapel and the mansion. Even me, you said that. That's just a white screen. There it goes. Yeah, you can't hear anything at all while you're inside the map loading point.
I see. You're right. The sound shouldn't reach to the map loading point. How did we hear Kibo's voice? Were we able to hear Kibo at the mansion if he was at the chat? I mean, I guess I could have traveled like right to left. You know, it could have like flipped over from the right side to go to the left side. Because the chapel and the mansion are like on the far extremes of each map. So I guess that could just, it could just be something that simple. Um, maybe someone's lying. Because I mean, if that is the case, if it kind of, you know, loops around, so to speak, then you would hear the chapel noise from the left side of the mansion. What? Line. Hey. By the way, Cookie, did you hear the loud noise of Kibo's voice at all? Ah. I'm not sure. I must not have noticed because I was too busy searching. <sighs> You're lying to his face. Kaizo. Hey, hey. Kaizo, you've been interrupting me when I talk. Do you like me or something? Don't screw around. I would like you, dumbass. I was just interested in Chuichi's conversation. Huh? My conversation? Ah. You heard Kibo's voice when it should have been impossible. Can you tell me more about that? Um. Well, what I said was pretty much... What I said before is pretty much everything. After that, we headed back to the chapel to see what happened. Uh, um, we saw Gontazu at the mansion, and three of us went to the river together. That's when we met up with Kokichi. Yeah. And then we used the signboard that I found as a bridge. What about it, though? Did you notice anything? I suppose not. But... I see you're working hard, but it looks like you're starting to take this game seriously, Kaito. Shut up! Okay. A lot, a lot of evidence and a short two pieces of information here. Or I guess a lot of evidence in that conversation. Um, I've been wondering, what was the secret of the outside world that we were searching for anyway? That's true. We got sidetracked by Mew's murder case. We never discovered what that secret actually was. Hmm. We couldn't find anything at the chapel, and you found nothing at the mansion, right? Uh Okay. No, Samugi and I didn't find anything. My bad. I didn't find anything either. That's probably the same with Kaito and Gonza too, right? Right. And knowing them, if they found something, they would have told us right away. Yeah. Yes, they would have, unlike you. Whoa. Wow, Shuichi, did you hear that? The robot's being sassy with me. That's so mean. Did you know robots don't need warm blood to function, so they become cold like this? That's why he's more concerned about the secret of the outside world than poor Miyu. <laughs> he told us he couldn't cry even if he wanted to. He went so far to stage his dramatic reaction. That's wrong. That's not true. I'm hoping we can discover the truth, too. Oh. You're a pretty advanced robot. You can even be sassy and make excuses. <laughs> can we talk to Kokichi? This is not Kokichi. This is a computer. From the time of death indicated in the Monokuma file, Miyu was killed while we were still in the virtual world. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to be so wary of me. I'm keeping an eye on in case Kaito tries to bother it's you. true. Don't take us the wrong way, though. I'm not trying to replace Kaito as your partner. Hey, hey. Why does he insist on following me around? Okay, I'm pretty sure we saw that already. Maki was working on the computer, her hand moving the mouse around rapidly. Um, you know how to work that computer, Maki? Nope. No, not really. I'm just, I've never used this program before either. Hmm. See, imagine that would be difficult to understand unless you were an expert. Well... I did find this text file regarding this program. It has info about the program's basic features, but other than that, there's not much. Oh, oh what'd it say? Ah. You don't want to tell me. At least tell it to Shuichi. <sighs> According to this text file, the Killing Game Simulator used a certain program as the base. It's called the Neo World Program. Hmm. Neo World Program? Hmm, never heard of it. Well. In this Killing Game Simulator, objects can't break. Your body's five senses are connected to your avatar, and your avatar cannot be harmed. Yeah, that would... The the noise we heard definitely sounded like something shattering, right? Which, in theory, shouldn't have been possible. Any damage inflicted on your avatar will be transferred to your body in the real world. That matches what Miu told That's us. True. Your avatar receives fatal damage. Your real body will die from shock. Huh? Shock. Oh. Yeah, that probably... That fits closely with the way Miu's died. This is the first time we're hearing about this. If someone receives a fatal injury in the virtual world, they'll die in the real world. Well, your five senses are connected, so it makes sense you feel the same amount of pain. Right? Wouldn't be too surprising if you died from some fatal injury. Oh, man. More important question is, why did Miyu keep such an important detail a secret? That is strange. I had no idea why she would mention such an important detail. Did she hide it from that? From that? Did she hide that from us on purpose? Well. That's all it says about the virtual world's basic features. The rest of the virtual world is the same as the real world, including the laws of physics. Warps and special transportation like mounts do not exist. Okay. I see. You can only move around using your avatar. 
How boring. Well, she should have added warps and mounts to the virtual world. That's all it says in this text file. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. That was very helpful. Hmm. But... But is the... Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, this could be before it was modified. This info is in the text file, correct? What are you talking about? Or is the info correct? What do you mean? Uh -uh. I'm not doubting you or anything, Maki, but I'm just saying the file could have been rewritten. Possible well, someone who wrote the original info with false info, you know? But... But to determine that, you would need extensive knowledge of computers. It's my time to shine! It looks like a job for me! Huh? What? Eh? Huh? Stop it. Don't get in our way. Mm. I won't get in the way. In fact, I want to let me... I want you to help me help with this investigation. Hey. Help with the investigation? Monotar, what are you saying? Hey. Come on, please. Won't you help me with the investigation? Ever since I forgot I'm bad with the computers, I'm good with the computers now. What are you talking about? That logic doesn't make any sense. No way! It's perfect for this series. Y you can't, Monotaro. We're not allowed to help the participants as mascots. we got to stick to that rule. I don't care. I don't give a fart about the rules. I want to help everyone. I want to avenge my dead mommy. Huh? Your mommy? You mean me? Not that. Oh, Monotara, you've forgotten again. You've forgotten that she's not her mother. I want you. And you've forgotten about the important... Don't ever say that again. About the important person you need to protect. Yeah. Shut up, you pig. I'm busy avenging mommy's death. <laughs> uh, how sad. It looks like this is goodbye. I love you, but there's something I need to protect. Goodbye. Okay. So long. Farewell. <laughs> Um, Alrighty then, let's do this. Huh? Do what? So what? I don't care either way. If you want to help me, then that's fine. Hmm. True, I suppose, but thanks. I'll do my best for mommy's sake. No. Quit making me say mommy. Well, wait, perhaps we should. <laughs> He's doing his best for his dead mommy. I'm so touched. Uh, okay. All right, I'll leave it to you then. I suppose I have no choice. All right. I'll start yelling at the computer right away. By God, he's a hacker man. This stinky little computer is no match for my hands. Yeah, his hands are going at such an intense speed that the friction is creating fire. Sorry, I broke it. All right. I've already analyzed a few things. Huh? Already. Okay. The text file is consistent with the original program. It doesn't look like it was altered. Yay! Also, I found this too. Is this... Looks like information when everyone logged in and out. So Maki, log in. Kokichi, Gonta, log in. Miyu, log in. Okay. So Kaito logged out at 5.17. And Kokichi logged out two minutes after us. What could you do in a minute? I don't know. Kaito, Kibo, Himiko, Maki, Gonta, Samugi, Shuichi, Kokichi. I think that's everyone, right? Well, except, you know, me, you. This is like information when everyone logged in and out. Okay. There's no sign this is altered either. It's definitely accurate information. Hey. Could you show it to me? It really does have everyone's log in and log out times recorded. Well... Aside from you, everyone is logged in and out once. You're right. And it would appear that no one secretly logged out and then logged back in. And my main concern becomes... Kaito, you logged out ahead of us. No, it couldn't be him. I mean, she died at 6.30, so I mean, that's like an hour-long gap. I mean, really, the fact that we, we pretty much know that... Uh, Miyu died due to her avatar being killed completely clears Kaito, right? Which, I mean, I wasn't really seriously suspecting Kaito in the first place, because I think I think that's maybe the the puzzle is to prove him innocent when there is uh, evidence pointing towards him. So that's going to be one aspect of the class trial. Um... There's something else I noticed while I was analyzing the program. So... Looks like some parts of the program were rewritten. Uh -huh. Program's been rewritten. Oh. Obviously, Mew was the only person capable of doing that. Hey, hey. Which files did you write? Which ones did you change? Okay. Uh, I only realized that, of course. It's going to take a little while longer. Yeah. This one is called uh, BigMommyMilkers.exe. <laughs> as long as it's done by the class trial, then Shuichi should be able to avenge me, you. He's just saying whatever he pleases. All right. I'll keep on analyzing the crap out of this program. <laughs> You're so reliable. That's true. Yeah, way more than you. We haven't, have we talked to Himiko, Gonta, and Kaito? I don't think so, right? I mean... About the whole logging out thing. I don't really get it myself. And I was looking for the secret... Okay, yeah, we, we have read this. Uh, um... 
Okay, what about... Did we... Uh, Gaunta? Did we talk to Gaunta? Hey! Gaunta, are you alright? You're so dumb. Are you so depressed about me? You come on, don't be such a Debbie Downer. By the way. Oh, Gaunta, I want to know what you think. Rare, I know, but who do you think is the culprit? Gaunta, don't know. Gaunta, not know. Murder already happened when Gaunta wake up. How this happened? But why this happened? Why Mew killed? Gaunta, not understand. Gaunta, not understand anything. How can this be? Gaunta, frustrated and sad. Gaunta, no, could protect Mew. Hmm. He seems all over the place right now. Oh, man, he can't think at all when he's like this. It's true. But Gaunta doesn't seem to be lying. I'm pretty sure he's telling the truth. Well, I guess a big dumb dumb like Gaunta doesn't have the brains to lie in the first place. Hey! Don't talk about him like that. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in you, Gonta. When I first met you, I thought you'd be more useful. Sorry. So, Gonta, sorry. Gonta. Gonta, so sorry. Gonta, sorry. He no could protect me, you. Gonta. Hey. If you feel that bad about it, then stop blaming yourself and help us find the culprit instead and crush his head like a little grape. This is the culprit's fault anyway, so pull yourself together and help us out, okay? Mm. Okay, Gonta understand. Gonta do his best. Gonta do his best to find culprit. Gonta definitely do his best this time. Yeah. Yelpin, now that's the spirit. Now yeah, Kikichi is encouraging him? I really don't know what Kikichi is thinking. Um. Can you tell us more about what happened after you found Mew's avatar? Mm. We're looking for the secret of the outside world of the chapel. Mew was always so lazy. Okay, I think this is new. Was always so lazy. Why did you volunteer for that? We searched, but we couldn't find anything, and right when we were about to get tired, all of a sudden we heard a really loud sound outside. No, 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 this seems familiar. Hmm. Uh, um... But... Okay, yeah, this is the same. Thank you. Okay, we got the visors. This is a device we wore on our heads into the virtual world. Somehow it still have their cords plugged in, and others have them removed. Hmm. I'm positive they were unplugged after logging out. I see that the cords... We're supposed to plug the two cords from the computer into our helmets. Red for consciousness and blue for memory. I have, you got those mixed up. Out of curiosity, what would happen if you switch the cords? I don't know, I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Maybe you become a vegetable. Maybe you'll body swap with someone. Uh, yeah, that could have been the reason for the sound messing up. A glitch. Vice instructions have been added to the truth bullet sections of the monopad. What about this visor? Is it different? The concern is the cords. Okay, this is basically still the same. A small bottle. That's new. There's nothing on the seat. A small bottle. I feel as though I've seen this before. Have we? Oh? This is yours, right, Shuichi? Huh? Mine. Um... No, I guess it's not yours, but it is from your lab, is it? Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is in the Ultimate Detectives Lab. Right? It's that poison. Poison? Hmm. You know about this, Kogichi? <laughs> of course, I already checked it. We are in a killing game, you know. There's poison and tricks repaired, then of course I'd investigate them ASAP. That's... Okay, so maybe the uh, maybe she was didn't actually go into shock from being killed in the virtual world. She was just poisoned, and it mimics the, the shock, right? To have no external injuries? Because it might not mention that she's poisoned if it would give away the killer, right? In the Monokuma file? Um, no, it's not so I can use them. I check in case someone else uses them. Is that really true? By the way, by the way, did you see the label on the back of this bottle? Huh? The label. Um, According to the warnings here, this poison is pretty lethal. It becomes neutralized once it's mixed, so it has to be taken directly. But when it's taken directly, the victim will immediately die, even if they only sip it a little bit. Which means you could get the victim's mouth open, you could kill them instantly. Okay, so maybe the you could say like Kaito, uh... When he left, he went to get the poison and came back and poisoned me. Can't imagine a better method of killing someone who's logged in. I should tell you what whose symptoms the poison causes. It causes a small blood vessel under the conjunct conjunctiva to explode. It makes the whites of your eyes turn blood red. Bloodshot eyes. That's important information. Um... Well, that's everything about this poison. <laughs> Am I doing a good job? Maybe it's time you acknowledge me as your partner, partner. No. I thought I remember you saying that you didn't want to be my partner. Mm -hmm. Did I? Well, sometimes I lie without thinking about it. Huh? Seriously? Anyway. Anyway, who brought this poison? Do you think the culprit did it? Who bought the poison? I, uh, can't be certain yet. Or brought the poison. But I do know that the poison was left in that person's share. I mean, that's, uh, Kokichi's share. But 
But Kokichi's not dumb enough to, you know, leave that. Let's see, are eyes all messed up? That'd be a good way to confirm. And her eyes look normal. Miu's hands are clasped around her neck if she were grasping for air. And is that actually a, a truth bullet on the poison? Yeah, eyes completely bloodshot. It does mention Whoa. that. Her eyes are wide open and panicked. She must have suffered quite a bit. Wow. Oh, it's one grody face. You mean you must have suffered a lot. <laughs> vulgar death hit for a vulgar bitch. Hey. Stop, Kogichi. Even if you're joking, that's too far. It's nothing. You're right. You should never speak ill of the dead, no matter how much you hated them. Right? Even if she was a despised, pathetic, dirty, cum toilet of a person. I suppose I'll never get Kogichi to change. But... What's Miu's cause of death? It doesn't say so in the Monokuma um... file. May I? I want to let you know, just in case it turns out to be a clue. By the way. I was the first to log out and find Miu's body. She was still wearing the helmet and her body was contorting into this awful position. You tampered with the body, Kibo! Maki logged out after I did, and she helped me take Miu's helmet off. <laughs> and then she was gone. Hey, hey. Is that a confession? Hi. How is that a confession? Anyway, the question is the cause of death. What caused her to suffer like this? I suppose I investigate everything I can here. Hey! Are you done investigating the crime scene? So do you know who the culprit is yet? No. No, this might actually not be the crime scene. Injuries in the virtual world could be fatal in the real world. I mean, there's a possibility that she was killed in the virtual world. It means the next area to investigate should be... Oh, I see. ...the virtual world. We should go there again. Huh? See? I just read your mind, didn't I? I did, right? 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 Got it. That's the case that I'm coming to. Oh? Oh, great. He's coming. You must really like me, huh? Ugh. Say whatever you want. I don't have time to waste on you. Yeah. If we go back to the virtual world, we might find some new clues. Those so I might be able to clear my name. Um... May I join you as well? I also think we should investigate the virtual world again. All right. Why don't we all go? Ah. Oh, so I guess be that avatar again? What? Do you actually like that avatar after all? Well. I'm going to stay here. He's still in the middle of analyzing the program. Mm. Going to search this place some more. This is no time to be sleeping. Uh. That's not what we're... Well, that's fine. <laughs> then I'll stay here too. Huh? What? Hmm? Surprised you're going to get lonely without your partner? Yes. My bad. I'm busy too, you know. I have to watch Maki in case she tries to do anything deceitful. Huh? Deceitful. See? You and Kaito are pretty close, so you might do something deceitful for him, right? Thank goodness. Good thing Gaunt is here with me. Your glare is too scary to handle alone. Gaunt would risk his life to protect me from a murderer. Huh? Hey! If you say a messed up crap like that, I'm gonna kick your ass in orbit. All right already. It's fine. Just ignore him and hurry to the virtual world. Uh, okay. Kaito, let's focus on solving the case for now. <laughs> fine. Thank goodness. I don't like violence. The ultimate supreme leader would rather sneak around. So that means... Anyway, I'll leave the virtual world to you, Shuichi. Yeah. But I'm not exaggerating when I say this class trial can only be solved by you, okay? Your talent can save the useless people here, you know? What? Who are you calling useless? I told you. Enough already. Um... Kaito, let's go. Kaito, Kibo, Himiko, Sumugi, and I prepared to enter the virtual world. Never to return. We picked up our helmets once again, and sitting in the same seats as before. Uh, so oh. the red cord goes in the right side, and the blue cord in the left, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Right is the hand I hold my chopsticks with. I gotta be sure to get it right. If you're that worried, why don't you use one that's already set up? We place the device on our heads, and flip the switch. We spent a lot of work on this. We're going to use it at least more than one than once. Come on. Welcome to the Neo World Program. Yeah, everything looks the same. Great, huh? This is my avatar. Look, my avatar. Um, so you liked it after all. You know, we're back here. 100%. Apparently, we always arrive in this room. We log in. Mm. You said logging in and out is impossible unless we're in this room. Huh? How did I get logged out when I was on the rooftop? Okay. Yeah, so you need to investigate that area too. What should we do? We should go check Mew's avatar, right? That's right. I think her avatar is still near the chapel. Yeah! Let's head out to the chapel. Alright, that's a pretty good place to stop. Next time we will wrap up our investigation and 
maybe get a little bit of progress on the class trial. I don't know. So far, I don't really know what's jumping out. I mean, there's Kokichi, right? But... I mean, it could be him, right? Because, I mean, Cory Keo felt like he, he was too obvious in um, the last trial, and he ended up being the killer for... I mean, it wasn't that obvious for Angie, but for Tinko, I felt like he was, you know, kind of the the obvious one, which is why I kind of, like, ignored him, but... So, yeah, I mean, it could be Kokichi. But we'll, we'll wait and see. Yeah, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.